Hi students, I'm Abhishek from Vidya Guru and in today's session I am going to discuss problems on ages. Age based problems will be taught to you in a very simple format, simplest, shortest and smartest methods to solve these questions. If you like the video, please press the like button for sure, share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. As you can see, this is going to be a complete English medium video, especially made for our students from South India and North East India, students from Telangana, Karnataka, Kerala, Pondicherry, Lakshadweep. All the southern uh, states I am uh, covering and of course uh, northeast as well. So my point is you have to watch the video till the end because the shortcuts I am going to teach you today are going to be very interesting. They are going to be really helpful. No use of X or Y will be there. No use of variables will be there. So let's get started and let's look at the first question. Let's read what is given on your screen. Three years ago, mother's age was four times the age of her daughter that is the scenario that was the scenario three years ago their combined ages three years from now will be 67 we have to find out mother's present age this is the important part students three years from now three years from now the combined age of the mother and daughter will be 67 that means the sum, the sum of their ages, the sum of their ages three years from now, three years later will be 67. That means if I talk about today's age, if I talk about today's time, current time, in current time, mother will be three years younger, even daughter will be three years younger because 67 is the combined age three years from now. So we will have to subtract, we will have to subtract a total of six. We will have to subtract a total of 6 to arrive at the combined ages today. Students, the combined age today, the sum of their ages today will be 61 because 3 years I am subtracting for the mother, 3 years I am subtracting for the daughter, I am subtracting 6. That is the important part. Similarly, if we talk about 3 years ago, 3 years ago today, their combined age is 61. So again, if I have to go three years back, I will be subtracting six. I will be subtracting six. That means three years ago, the sum of their ages, their combined ages was 55. The sum of their ages was 55 three years ago. And that is where we have been given the ratio. Three years ago, mother was four times. That means the ratio was four is to one. The ratio was four is to one and the sum, the sum of their ages was 55. So the ratio was four is to one. That means the mother's age was four parts. I can say mother's age was four parts and daughter's age was one part. And the sum, that means when I add them up, four part plus one part gives me five parts. The sum five parts was equal to 55. The combined age is 55, three years ago. That means students, one part is equal to 11. One part is equal to 11. So three years ago, mother was what? Four into 11. That means mother was 44 years old. That is three years ago. Her age was four into 11, 44 years. So in today's time, in today's time, she will be three years older. This is the ratio three years ago. In today's time, she will be 44 plus 3. That means 47. The mother's age today is 47. Option B, that's the answer. No use of X and Y. Smart test methods. So if you like our method of teaching, then you have to call upon the numbers which are given on your screen. Call our executives right away and become a part of our online live classes. Become a part of our video courses. And believe me, we provide everything that is required to crack banking SC and competitive exams. So whether it is study material, test series, live classes, video courses, everything is given to you. Sure. So do call upon the numbers right away. Now let's move on to the next question. Let's see what it is about. The question says, Ratio of ages of friends Anil and Amit is 5 is to 4. Sure, the ratio is 5 is to 4. Now, after 4 years, the ratio will be 11 is to 9. The current ratio of their ages is 5 is to 4. After 4 years, the ratio will become 11 is to 9. The ratio will become 11 is to 9 after 4 years. Now, the ratio was 7 is to 5 when they first met. When they first met, at that point of time, the ratio was 7 is to 5. 
we have to find out how many years ago did they first meet. Now think of that particular situation, think of that particular comparison where the ratio and the reference of the years has been given. The ratio was 5, the ratio is 5 is to 4 right now and of course the ratio will be 11 is to 9 in 4 years time. So after 4 years the ratio is going to change, current ratio is 5 is to 4. Students, can I compare the ratios right now? I cannot compare the ratios right now. I'll tell you why. Ratio right now is 5 is to 4. 4 years from now, the ratio will become 11 is to 9. I cannot compare and equate the ratio with the 4 years which have been given to me. Why? Because look at it. From 4 parts, from 4 parts to 9 parts, that is how the age changes. That is how the age changes for Amit. That is how the age is changing for Amit. Whereas for Anil, whereas for Anil, what is happening? The change is from 5 parts to 11 parts. The change is 6 parts. Out here, the change is 5 parts. The change has to be the same. The value of the change has to be the same. Only then we will be able to equate the change with these four years which have been given to us that is the important part so we will have to ensure that the change the change in the ages is the same so let's see how do we do it let's multiply this entire ratio with two let's multiply it with two and believe me it will sort out the problem five to the ten so ten parts is to eight parts very simply what i've done is i've expressed five is to four in this new form 10 is to 8 ultimately it is the same thing but when i do it students now the problem has been sorted the change is the same amit's age increases from eight parts to nine parts the change is what one part anil's age increases from 10 parts to 11 parts the change is again one part so now i can compare because the change is the same the change is one part in both the cases for both these boys anil and amit so one part one part has changed in four years there is one part change in four years so one part is equal to four years sure so what is anil's age right now students anil's age right now is 10 parts because we had converted 5 is to 4 into a new form 10 is to 8. So Anil's age right now is 10 into 4. Why? Because one part is equal to 4 years. So Anil's age right now is 40 and Amit's age right now is 8 parts. 8 fours are 32. His age is 32. Sure? So that is the current. That is the current status. 40 and 32. That is the current status. When they first met, when they first met at that point of time, the ratio was 7 is to 5. So what were their ages when they first met? 7 parts is to 5 parts. One part is equal to 4 years. One part is equal to 4 years. So students, 7 parts is what? 7 into 4, that means 28. So 28 and 5 into 4, 5 into 4, that means 20. So students, when they first met, that is when the ages were 28 and 20. Anil was 28 years old. Today, he is 40 years old. Look at it. And uh, the other fellow, Amit, Amit was 20 years old. And now he is 32 years old. That means, what is the gap? Students, the gap is how many years? From 28 to 40 from 28 to 40 so very simply students the gap is what 28 and 40 the gap is 12 years 20 to 32 again the gap has to be the same in both the cases so they met 12 years ago they met 12 years ago when uh, Anil was 28 years old today he's 40 years old so when did they first meet they first met 12 years ago that's the answer and now last question for today Make sure you watch it as well. It's a higher level question. One important concept I'm going to teach you. Two years ago, Ruby's age was six times the age of her son. She was six times as old as her son. That's the status two years ago. Now comes the important part. 11 years hence. Hence means later. So 11 years from now, 11 years later. 
11 years later, Ruby's age will exceed her son's age by 25 years. 11 years later, 11 years later, what will happen? Ruby, the gap between Ruby's age and her son's age will be 25. Students think logically, this gap is going to be 25, 11 years later. So even today, the gap is going to be the same 25 years. Let me give you my, my personal example. The gap between my sister, sister's age and my age is four years. She's four years elder to me, sure. So today, as on today, she's four years elder to me. The age gap is four years. So she will always remain four years elder to me. She will not become six years elder to me or seven years elder to me or eight years elder to me after some time. No, this gap will always remain the same. Even if we go in the past, even 10 years back, even 10 years back, she was only four years elder to me. Even 10 years from now, she will remain four years elder to me. The gap between our ages will always remain the same. It is not going to change. So students, it's the same thing which they have given you in a different form. So 11 years ago, her age exceeded the son's age by 25. That means even when, even when Ruby was six times as old as her son, even when the ratio was six is to one, when Ruby's age was six times her son's age, even then the gap between their ages was 25. So two years ago, her age was six parts. Her son's age was one part. It has been given to us. She was six times as old as her son. So what is the gap in real terms? Students, the gap in real terms is five parts. So five parts, this gap is equal to what? It is equal to 25 years. So students, five parts gap is equal to 25 years. That means one part, one part is what? One part is equal to five years. Isn't it simple? Five parts is equal to 25. So five parts is 25 and one part will be what students? One part will be five years. That means two years ago, what was Ruby's age? Ruby's age was six parts. One part is five years. So Ruby's age was six into five. That means Ruby's age was 30. Sure. Her son's age was one part. That means one into five. That means her son's age was five years. That was the status two years ago. So in today's time, in today's time, what are their ages? Ruby is two years elder, two years elder because this is a situation two years ago. So today she is 32 years old and her son is seven years old. They both are two years elder. So the ratio is what? Their ratio is 32 is to seven. Ruby is 32, son is seven. So what is the ratio? Students answer option D, the ratio is 32 is to seven. So if you've liked the way we are teaching you, then call upon the numbers right away. Become a part of our online live classes, our video courses. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Do not forget to share our video with your friends. And please like the video. God bless you all. Thank you so much.